Hey there fam, Ovi here with yet another Pokemon Theory and this time I'm bringing you guys back all the way to generation 2 and talk about the burn tower that you find in Ukratik City. But what really happened here? How did it burn down in the first place? Get ready for another of my crazy Pokemon Theories. Before we begin, let's talk about everything we know regarding the lore behind this burnt tower. According to the lore, there were once two towers in Ukratek City, one known as the Bell Tower and the other one as the Brass Tower. The Bell Tower is where Hohu resides and the Brass Tower was the one that burned down. Legend speaks of a time when Lugia had his nest in the Brass Tower and after it burned down, it fled to the sea, specifically the World Islands. Looking at the in-game text, you will learn that the tower was burned by a mysterious fire. Notice how the text points out to be a mysterious fire, not just your standard fire that burned down the tower. But what does this mean? Here's where my theory comes into play. I believe it was Ho-Ho that burned it down, using his signature move Sacred Fire. But why? What could have led to such an event? Especially as we know Ho-Ho being a kind Pokemon that can grant eternal happiness. But what if I told you that he did it by accident trying to stop Lugia? What most people don't realize is that Lugia is a very unstable Pokemon. His powers are so great that even he cannot control them. Many of his Pokedex entries state that because of this very reason, he decides to live in the deep sea in order to avoid causing any trouble. Let's take a look at his Pokemon Stadium 2 entry. It is said that it quietly spends its time deep at the bottom of the sea because its powers are too strong. And in Pokemon Emerald it states the following, Lugia is so powerful even a light fluttering of its wings can blow apart houses. As a result, it chooses to live out of sight deep under the sea. So. Without realizing it, Lugia could have caused havoc in Ukratek City to the point that Hoho needed to intervene to try and stop him. In the process, Hoho ended up burning the Brass Tower and killing the three Pokemon that lived in the basement. It was at this point that they stopped their struggle. Lugia fled to the sea to avoid ever causing any more destruction and Hoho using his powers brought back the Pokemon that he had killed by accident, giving them new powers and fled the bell tower as well. As I said before, Lugia is a very unstable Pokemon and this can be proven by XD Gale of Darkness, where humans were able to transform a legendary Pokemon Lugia to a shadow Pokemon, implying that his goodwill can be altered. Now here's one major problem that I know some of you guys are going to bring out. According to the lore, it was a lightning bolt that caused the fire, and the three legendary beasts are meant to be a representation of the lightning that struck the tower, Raikou, the flame that engulfed the tower, Entei, and the rain that put out the fire, Suicune. But the same in-game text says that a sudden downpour finally put out the blaze. Lugia's black and white 2 Pokedex entry states the following. It sleeps in the deep sea trench. If it flaps its wings, it is said to cause a 40 day storm. The lightning that struck the brass tower could have been mistaken with Hoho's sacred fire, because as you know, lightning appears to be a sudden neon blue light, but so does Hoho's sacred fire. Or maybe I'm just putting too much thought into it. What do you guys think? Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick Pokemon theory. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe as I make new videos every Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time with another Pokemon video. Peace.